Hi friends, today we discuss about uh, table uh, layout. Okay, in the section table layout, we'll be discussing about and also how to add uh, property in that. So list of sources will have right the property data page and uh, report definition it will be there. So we'll also see report definition also in it. So how it is? So I'm taking an example of products over here where I'll take some book images. So in meanwhile, we also have uh, discussed about uh, uh, how do I add an image into uh, into my application. So that's about like uh, you have to create a binary file, and whatever the file you have taken, you need to have a images in your uh, local system and then upload into the peg application so to do that i need to go to the binary file in this binary file i will go and add a, a new uh, new file okay so whenever i add a new file uh, i'll take one label and also we can take one app directory it can be any directory so we'll be taking web wb and the extension make sure that your extension of your uh, uh, image which is available in local system should be the same here so for example if it is PNG then it, you have to take PNG and if it is JPG you have to take JPG so this is this is how you create a binary file so I have already created a binary file I'll just show you that so this is one of my binary file which I have created so which is of uh, a JPG here so we need to just once we click on oh, create and open let's open this file create and open and choose the file so you will have some files which are there here so you can select one of the file which is of same thing for example this uh, this is of jpg file and but i want to upload a png file here so let me open up uh, png file it throws an error actually png file these are all of png files so let me open this so if you see if it cannot uh, you know upload that file so because you are saying that it is a jpg file but you are uploading a png file so that's the uh, that is very important for us so you have created these all things and now i want to create a product uh, you know uh, products all the products which are there in my data types so, so in my database so to do that I need to go to data types we shall go to the data types and in the data types we click on product in product I created uh, created a product uh, data type and added author ID image name and price so these are all on my properties so then we have to go to sources in sources you have to add a local source but uh, I, I already created it so you can go to records and you can even add them so whenever you add it you have to add your all data so in the image whatever the uh, binary file you have right so what are the binary file you have let's open this so whatever it is so you, you have to take this particular uh, ID and add it into the images uh, you will have so all I have it so I haven't had an Indian positive thing so let me add and show it to you so go to binary file so I'll take it as IP web WB so it's a PNG file PNG file create and open so upload a file choose file so I have Indian positive open this and upload it and save it so that's it so I can use now this into my uh, text value so let me copy that let me go back to product and product let me add that so now instead of this I have to write p.jpn png and then remove this and slash and save it that's it this will also come into your application so now we have to add this into our uh, section so to do that it's very simple now we can just simply go to uh, the case type in case type you can click on this particular um, step and click on configure view if you want to add any product see so you can simply click on add product name add product name and give the uh, uh, sorry add field and give the uh, field name and then in the images you select data relationship it's, it's 8.5 so you have to write data relationship uh, in 8.6 it is something else data references case references okay embedded data it will show you that but now it is data relationship so what type of uh, data object it is it is it is of products do you want a single record or multiple records multiple records whether you want to load it from database yes I want to load it from database you can simply select a load from database and click on it so automatically you will have this particular thing in this in this particular thing and when you submit and when you submit and run your uh, section automatically you will see uh, you run your case when you run the case and see it you will see all the things here 
but you know this won't be coming in this won't be coming uh, if you look into this this would be coming like this web wb tspng so here this is the one which i have took but how do i change into change it to image so for that what i have to do is i have to go to section so open the section so in the section wherever the image is there right so open it so before that this was not of uh, image it was text input so it was text input before that it was text input let me write that and see yes if you look before that it was a text input so now what I am doing is I am changing that into image so to do that I need to change the uh, property type so I'm changing it to property type and this is available in one of the properties so select that property what is that property property is image so select it and submit it save it then now when you run this you will see all the images right all the images you can see but it is not looking good one is coming in a big one and one is coming in a you know smaller uh, uh, resolution so what we do is we'll change that height and width so for that again I need to go to the search product uh, open this image so instead of auto I'll make it as custom in a custom I'll make it as 75 and the height as 100 so it's my it's maybe that requirement was 7500 that's why I'm giving it a 75 by 100 and then when I look into uh, this one and uh, refresh it and search you can see that there are only uh, there now it is coming in a proper way 7500 in a proper way right but uh, you know it is showing only two things here why it is not showing other things Miss, I have added a page nation here so if you go to one two three or previous it will show you all the things now if, if you look now Indian positive was also have come under the picture right but then why how how should I change it okay how should I change it how do I do the page nation so go for here and select the table in the table select the settings icon if you scroll down you will have something called as page nation so page nation how do you want whether you want as one two three or you want as rows one by or whatever it is so I took page of one two three and here you will have 10 20 and like this you have numbers so I do not have so many uh, rows right so I took others and selected only two so when I selected only two it is showing up uh, only two at a time okay only two at a time but uh, how the uh, clipboard looks like here even though it is two it takes all the all the things and keeps in clip work page if you see all six are coming even though it was showing only two but it your yeah, pega has retrieved all the uh, page all the products into your uh, clipboard okay so that's a diff that's a uh, bit you know uh, difficult one because if you have some thousands of data then the retrieving uh, thousands of data at a time will uh, will uh, issue I mean it will reduce the performance so for that what you can do is you can take another repeating grid layout I mean uh, for that I am giving you another example so uh, we'll take table layout another one in the search products but now this time I will use uh, report definition okay so I'll use report definition here uh, this is the table so settings icon if you see I took a report definition in the report definition applies to I used uh, one report definition which is already there so in problem product I created one report definition open this report definition so this is the report definition where it is retrieving all the things uh, right so it is retrieving all the things and uh, now go to report viewer in report viewer you have enable paging so optional so go to optional and write page size so how do you want whether it is previous or next whether it is numeric what do you want you can select it okay so uh, submit and save so now after coming back to this uh, after coming back to this you have to check uh, you you can you see this what happens if I don't select this and submit you know if I don't select this and submit I need to write manually all these things whatever the whatever the properties I want everything I need to write manually but if I go to table and select um, grid create grid automatically what what happens you know whatever the properties you have 
uh, written in report definition all those th all those things will come uh, by default okay so if you scroll down so there is no need of you writing each and every each and every column here so automatically this will come so now how do I do page nation here so page nations if you scroll down I have something called as page nation format so how do you want page nation one of X or uh, uh, one two three so I want in one two three and page size here you have extra thing because I used report definition here so let me select this as define or report definition and submit and save so if you if you create an a uh, uh, case here click on create and now you can see only two things are coming and one two three next is also coming so next next if you do it it will go back to uh, the other one okay so only two two things are coming but but how in a clipboard it looks like so open your uh, retrieve product here so as you did enable paging and all those things go to query tab action and run so how many things it will create it will show you at a time in your clipboard if you look into this it is showing only two things right so let me open my open the clipboard and check uh, whether uh, it is showing yeah so it me standard let me go for standard and see your report definition data will be available in PV report content page yeah PV report content page if you see here you'll have only two results here the standard what are those that is one uh, two states and next one is uh, for yeah this one so open chain this now you go back to uh, report uh, clipboard and see the standards this PV report content page see now it is India positive and uh, one Indian girl so what did you understand by this means when with the page nation only the page nation data will be loaded into your uh, uh, loaded into uh, only the page nation uh, data will be loaded into your uh, clipboard okay so so that uh, you are not uh, uh, putting so much of uh, uh, data into the cache memory so that it will also improve the performance so that is one of the uh, good possibility of how why to use uh, report definition with the page nation okay only those things will be coming up onto the picture whenever you click on next only that report definition will be working in the background and only those uh, page nation things only will be coming into the picture which is very uh, useful for the end user so that he will not uh, have the so much of data in his uh, clip in the database right there so this is how you do the table uh, layout and also its paginations and how to change this uh, uh, images and all so now what I do is I'll take a re uh, dynamic layout a repeating dynamic layout and in that repeating dynamic layout I will add these all things into it so that I will uh, show it as like how to add into the I mean whenever we see into in our uh, uh, e-commerce websites right it will show you the image and also the details of that particular thing right so I want to repeat that what particular section so that it will show you everything in our application so to do that what I do I'll just go back to uh, for that we need one section so one section which I'm creating is in uh, product class only I'm creating one section so I'm opening one section here uh, so this is one of the section which I've used it so this is already there one design template so let me create one design template and uh, mm, show you that so create a section so I'm not creating now just I'll show you what type of uh, design template I took so in this if I click on change uh, I used this list item with the image uh, sorry list item with image metadata and action so I used this so uh, in this I have added uh, uh, all the items which are necessary for me okay so how do I use this now okay so now uh, I'll select this and then I'll add each and every uh, property into this using that so with that what I did is I convert that into uh, uh, yeah whatever the thing which I took here I just simply converted into full section editor and that is shown in this way in this way where I'm adding name uh, author price uh, here and uh, add cart over here and image over here. cart I used and this uh, I did I change the simple list with label uh, so how do I change I change the dynamic layout uh, 
making lay layout other layout format as others and I took the simple list with uh, labels left okay so let me save this and uh, now what I do I'll add this section into my repeating grid layout so in this I will add so that you will understand how this is looking as so what is that I should take repeating dynamic layout open this and in this drag and drag drag and drop that section so before dragging and dropping that section you need to specify which product which you need to specify the property what you want to do repeating dynamic layout so that definitely it should be a list or a group so what is the product we have we have uh, sorry what is the property we have we have a product uh, called as dot properties and submit and now you can drop easily into that yes I drop that save it now let's create let's create a case now you can see all the uh, all the things here now this is what you are repeating dynamic layout how it looks it was like this all your items and then uh, which you can add into the cart okay this is also there so you can do whatever the things you want to do so this is how you create a repeating dynamic layout and a table layout right so the table layout we can do lot many things you can just ignore you do not want to show uh, grid and uh, grid uh, header and uh, uh, footer you can just delete them you can uns unselect them and next in the uh, in the presentations if you want to enable row hovering you can enable it you can if uh, when there are no rows if you want to change it yes you can even change that okay if you want to see if there is something else you can even add that okay whatever the things you want to add you can even add for example I want to add a field value here when there is no row uh, display custom messages when there are no rows to display so you can write a field value here uh, based on that those values only will come into the picture this will be learning later okay thanks you can even add the title and title if you want if you do not want this as collapsible you can just simply change it to bar even if you want to add an icon for this title also you can add a standard icon property or property value